When you play Star Citizen, you're immediately faced with a number of choices. You pick a mission. You say, oh, I want to go here and do this. Oh, I want to go there and do that. You're faced with various complications, things that you're going to have to take into account. You don't know what that environment is going to be. That environment could be icy cold. That environment could be burning hot. And so you're kind of given a choice, you know, well, you can take this armor and this armor is good for cold. You can take this armor and this armor is good for hot. And all of this makes sense if you look at the current state of the game and say, this is the way things are going to be, which is to say that if I don't have the right weapon or if I don't have the right armor, I can just open my Moby glass and just magically pull any weapon or any armor that I need out of thin air and equip it. But we know that in the future, this is not going to be the case. Now in the future, all of these things are going to become physicalized, right? We're going to actually have a physical space. We're going to have a home or a ship or an armory somewhere that we can store all these things on and we can transport them with us. But for a time, we're going to be going around saying, oh, you know, I have to go to a desert planet, better get some desert armor. Oh, I'm going to an ice planet, better get some ice armor. I need a sniper rifle. I need a submachine gun. I need a pistol. I need this. I need that. And players are going to very quickly develop a large bloat of physical items that they now have to kind of move and carry around the universe with them because they don't know what situation they're going to face. Now, initially, this seems fine, right? This seems like, okay, it's no big deal. We, you know, we want physicalized, you know, inventory. We want the weapons to exist in a space. We want the gun racks, the armor racks, the whole thing. Sounds like a great idea. So let's say you live at Grim Hex. Well, I don't know if I'm going to Yella today or Daymar or wherever. So I'm going to go and I'm going to build up an inventory of everything I could potentially need. Many of us have already made enough money in the game that we probably own just about every set of armor that you might need, every gun that you might need, every piece of equipment that you might need. You know, we have medipens, we have food supplies. Well, we can't really stock up on food supplies yet, but eventually we are going to be in that position. We're going to have all these items for any possible scenario that we may face so we can quickly put them on and go and do the mission that we want to do. But in the future, when all these things are physicalized, we're going to come into a bit of an issue. And that issue is, is that we are now going to say, leave Grim Hex and go to Microtech or go to Pyro to a whole other solar system. Some of these things may or may not be available there. And so we're going to have to pack it all up physically and take it there. So what does that mean? Do we equip th maybe three weapons, two rifles and a sidearm, load them up on all our backs, put on a suit of armor, run out to our spaceship, load all that stuff onto the spaceship, then go back to our apartment, load up another set, come back, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or do we just put it all in shipping crates and have it shipped over to that location? How is that going to work? Or if we get there, are we just going to go and just say it's easier to just buy all new stuff? And so we're just going to have all these little areas throughout the universe where we have an entire arsenal saved up just in case we come back that way again. And everywhere we go, we're going to immediately purchase a whole new arsenal. Database wise, that could present some issues, you know, having to store all that data for CIG. That's. You know, that, you know, you don't think that that's a big issue, but that still is a big issue to this day in many MMO video games. It's one of the reasons why you have limited bag or bank space in many of the other MMOs that you may be playing at this time. It's because all that stuff has to be stored somewhere within, you know, our physical reality. And eventually that does eat up space because players, if you don't know this, are pack rats. We tend to store things because you never know if that's going to come in handy. And we're really, really brutal in that department. And so eventually you're going to end up with a whole bunch of players who are just going to start storing things at every every station that they visit because you never know when they may come that way again or you never know when a rifle that you find or something that you pick up you may need it again so why not save it many of the players right now are looking at 
you know, talk, you know, they're talking about things like, oh, I wish we had apartments. So all these guns that I pick up in FPS missions, I can just take them and I can store them in, you know, in a place. So that way I have a whole arsenal saved up for the future. That sort of thing. This, these are the things that players are talking about and the things that players are saying, you know, we're trying to account for all these potential outcomes from gameplay because we know that the consequences of being ill prepared for a situation in Star Citizen could be quite dire. Now, the broader philosophical reason why we have all this variety and all these choices is choice. We, in an RPG format, you want players to make meaningful choices and you want those choices to have consequences, right? Meaningful consequences. So players really have to think about what they're going to do. Do I choose to stealth through a mission and simply, you know, steal my objective and sneak out? Or do I just come in guns blazing and kill everyone? Those are two different choices and two very possible, you know, possibly very different consequences over the long term for said player. And we want to have these things in RPGs, certainly. It, it, it's meaning. But when it comes to things like armor and weapons, is it really a choice? And that's kind of where I think that we may be kind of... We may be kind of delving into a, like a false choice. And I think that that is something that we have to acknowledge. If you're going into a cold environment, if you don't have anything other than your basic spacesuit on, your basic flight suit, and it says, well, you're going to die in four minutes. Is that really a choice? You know, is it really a choice to say, well, you better put on some cold weather armor? Not really a choice. If you're going into a hot environment and it says, oh, you better put on some hot weather armor, otherwise you're going to die, then you're not really asking someone to make a choice. You're just saying, here's a complication that you have to overcome. And this is, you know, this is a place where a lot of you know, a lot of RPGs and not just, you know, not really just Star Citizen, but a lot of MMOs, rather, they, they kind of, they trip up here and they think that, oh, well, these are all meaningful choices. When really, when you're talking about the basic functionality of playing the game, they can reflect different approaches to how you take on a problem. But realistically, when you're talking about something so basic as being able to survive for all intents and purposes, infinitely in an environment versus being able to survive for only a few minutes that, and you can simply just equip whatever you need to make that possible, then it's not really a choice. It's just a complication. The thing of it is, is we want players to make meaningful choices, right? We do want consequential choices. We want complications. We want things like that in the game so that we can kind of go, okay, how do I peel this onion? How do I solve this problem? That's, that's good gameplay. That's fun gameplay. But the problem is, is that at the same time, we haven't built the universe to facilitate this. Many of the ships that we fly, including many of the most popular ships that are in the universe right now, don't have sufficient space in them for physicalized inventory. Weapons, much less armor. And that is kind of a huge problem. We've kind of idealized this thing that we want, but we really haven't built the universe to facilitate those meaningful choices. You know, if you look at just something like a Cutlass, which I'm using right now in the game, I would quickly clutter up the entire cockpit section of my ship, just throwing it all on the floor because there's really nowhere else to put it apart from a gun rack that stores four whole guns. There's really nowhere to store armor. So every time I choose a mission, do I have to go back to base, go back to my house, wherever it's going to be, and then start pulling all sorts of stuff out of the armory and mixing and matching? before I can even play the game? Is that what Star Citizen's going to be? Is it going to become like an inventory management mini game everywhere I go and everything I choose to do? Or am I going to end up in a situation where I'm simply putting everything everywhere so that no matter where I go, I always have the piece that I need, which kind of creates a problem for CIG on the back end because then they've got to create the database that supports me having everything everywhere. You know, a year ago, we dealt with the problem of hover mode. CIG had kind of 
you know, idealized how landing should work in Star Citizen, how ships should behave in atmosphere. The problem was is that even CIG had to admit the universe wasn't built in a way that accommodated hover mode. It was all the landing sites really just didn't work for hover mode. They would have to entirely be rebuilt to a different standard to accommodate that. And in fact, many of the landing sites that we have right now don't really adequately accommodate the ships that we have. Many of the ships that we have are forced to land into very tight and very constrained areas which realistically they should simply just be larger landing pads to allow you to land those ships more easily now we've kind of pushed that concern aside because we'll say oh well cig is doing landing systems at some point and that's going to solve that problem so right now it's just a question of getting into third person or just eyeballing it and you know let's hope our our luck holds and we're able to successfully land our ship but the problem of like armor and inventory is a problem that is the moment we take away this kind of magic Moby glass, this is going to become a huge problem for players and for the game developers because there really aren't sufficient spaces in most of the ships that we fly in most of the places where we currently you know, live to store all this stuff. In fact, there is no physical space in, in the Star Citizen universe where you can simply throw all this stuff on the ground or put it all up into shelves or cupboards or whatever and come back to it and get it at a later date. There's nothing like that in the universe right now. Apparently in the future, we're gonna have player housing and stuff like that, but when they're building it, are they going to account for the fact that players are gonna have a huge personal arsenal of armor, weapons, tools, like where are you going to store that in it's going to become like a comedic warehouse almost every home where it's almost going to look like that scene in the matrix when he says i need guns lots of guns and all these shelves full of weapons come out i mean that is going to be kind of the future of a physicalized universe when we have so many choices and so many different things that we have to account for i think it's time to think think about maybe cutting back on some of these things and looking at some of these things that we've put in as complications and saying you know what good idea on paper but practically it's going to be a nightmare now you might think that okay well we know what the solution is it's just let's implement titan armor we know they're developing it for squadron 42 we know that this is a thing that's going to exist in the universe let's just do titan armor and we'll make it resistant to all environments and you can carry a whole heavy selection of weapons and equipment in that suit. So you can have a cutting tool, a mining tool, you know, a, a big heavy weapon, maybe a short range weapon and a long range weapon, all kinds of stuff. You can carry it all in one spot and it just takes up a little bit of space in your ship, you know, just a little bit of cargo space. But that has the opposite effect of players simply become like a Swiss army knife. They can do everything. And then that... You know, that doesn't really kind of, you know, it doesn't really add to the point where you want players to make choices. You know, you want players to have options in how they kind of deal with a mission, whether it's a sniper rifle or a shotgun. Every player is going to want to peel that onion differently, and that should be supported. And if everyone's just got the big monster combat suit, then they're just going to walk around splattering everything, and then the game isn't interesting right so while i am kind of, i am in favor of titan armor you know conceptually and you know this is definitely something that we're going to explore in the future i don't think that it really solves the problem in a meaningful way and the problem really is it's just item bloat and inventory bloat and at this point i would say that while the environments that we visit are interesting you know whether it's cold or whether it's hot and they create different weather effects whether there's snow on our mask or a sandstorm or whatever they create interesting situations and interesting visual effects but the problem of environmental consequences like hot and cold it doesn't really do anything it's just it's it's a complication that will create unnecessary inventory bloat 
I, I like the idea of being able to carry different weapons and solve problems in different ways, but the suits of armor themselves being limited to certain environments, you know, conceptually it's a good idea, but I think practically it's a terrible idea. It is something that in the beginning I was very in favor of, but now that I'm kind of thinking about the long-term consequences of it, I have to say I would much rather see it removed. It really, it isn't a meaningful choice. It's simply a question of clicking A versus B. And realistically, the ships were never built to accommodate all those choices. Weapons, possibly. Armor, no. Most of the ships have zero space to store any real armor of consequence. So why don't we simply say that the armor that you're wearing accounts for all the environments that a human being can physically survive in. A basic flight suit will of course have some environmental challenges, but once you put on armor, that's it, you're good. Otherwise, I mean, the only thing that we're really doing is we're just creating a breeding ground for, you know, an inventory nightmare. Thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channel. See you soon.